Well, we do have uh, a phenomenal player getting ready to join us here for our CarMax conversation. Mikel Bridges down on the floor after a 29-point effort tonight, helping his team to a 114-106 victory. Thanks for spending a couple minutes with us, Mikel. Just tell us a little bit about your mindset right now because you have been as aggressive as we've ever seen you offensively. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to win a game. Honestly, just trying to win a game and play as hard as I can. Um, that's what it is, just, just trying to be aggressive and win. Mikel, where does this offense come from? We saw the, the beginning of your, your career. Everybody knew about your defense in, 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 in games like this. Obviously, no Devin Booker, but you yep. used to look for Devin. For, but now you're making those plays yourself. When did that, that kind of click in for you? Um, I mean, just a lot of work in the offseason and continuing during the preseason and during the season. So just... Just staying ready, just staying, keep getting better every day. That's what I preach is just try to get better every year, every day, and um, just try to be the best player I can be. Well, how does it make you feel when, you know, maybe a couple weeks ago you got a couple looks in crunch time that didn't go your way. Now this week you're able to knock down shots when it matters, help your team win games. Is that a progression you feel like that is just a learning process you're taking right now? Yeah, um, for sure. Like, you make some, miss some, but if you just stay confident, and take the shots and stuff that you work on. I mean, why not be confident on it? So um, just staying ready, man, just staying confident and liking the shots that I'm taking. How's the confidence in that locker room right now? Obviously, the six and one over the last seven, four and one on that home stand to get a nice win in overtime in, in San Antonio. You know yep. Devin Booker's coming back, but there's what's the feeling in the locker room at, at this point that, that you've achieved this after, after a real – you know, downtime on the road in, in, in uh, December and early January. Yeah, um, it's big time. You know, we had them bumping bruises when we were losing a lot. But um, thing is, there's adversity. You know, we all going to go through it. Every team going to go through it. And it's all what you're going to do. And when times get tough, what we do, we just we stay with it. You know, we stayed the course, kept, you know, staying who we are. And then we're continuing to win now and getting guys back. And, um, you know, we're going to keep getting our guys back and we're going to stay Stay hungry and stay trying to win. All right, last thing for you, Mikel, because he had 29 points tonight. Last year, he got to watch his Rams win the Super Bowl. This year, his uh, it's his hometown team, the Philadelphia Eagles, make the Super Bowl. So I know it's not your squad because you're a Rams fan, but I got to imagine you're going to have some friends and family making their way across uh, from Philly already, to go to the game. I already, I already, no, I already got text people trying to stay at my house. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> nah, it's dope, uh, especially for just the city of Philly. I know I'm an Eagles fan, but... I mean, I love back home, so, I mean, just I'm happy for them, but I know my, all my family and friends, I know they're, they're too geeked up right now. Well, I'm not happy for them as a Niner fan, but I knew you <laughs> yeah, would. Hell yeah, I was happy. <laughs> that was the best win of the year right there. <laughs> hey, Mikel, thanks for taking time out. Great game tonight. Thank you, guys. Uh, that's Mikel Bridges, 29 points on the game, and he did a lot of other things as well to help the Suns to a victory. The final score, 114-106.